Hey everybody, it's Jamie here and welcome to Grantley Adams International Barbados. I've just had a lovely stay on this fabulous island and now I'm about to check in for a Virgin Atlantic flight all the way back to London Heathrow. Today I am flying premium for the first time on Virgin Atlantic, so come on me and let's see what this experience is all about. Well, this is awesome. Look, some of the check-in is literally half outdoors, half inside. There's a beautiful breeze keeping everyone cool. That's so cool that you can actually see the sun setting from within the airport. I love this so far. Right, Virgin over here and it's not busy at all. Well, that has to be one of the fastest check-ins ever. Oh my God, look how shiny I am. <laughs> if you haven't been to Barbados, can I just say, do yourself a favor, come and spend some time here. It's colorful, it's vibrant, the people are fabulous, awesome place. Wow, so security done within five minutes. And as you come through your security check, there's an island shop. We've got jewelry. Ooh, spicy sauce. I might have to take one of those home. Bit of Harley. Luxury at 10 US dollars. Oh, 1090. Let's be specific. The refinery for fine tobacco and liquor. We got items for children. Duty free. Up ahead, we have a food court, and that is pretty much what I'm here for. We got an island grill, grab and go. There's a subway. Oh no, the Mount Gay rum bar is closed. Why is the rum always gone? Oh, well, let's be honest, we're actually here for the rum cake shop, aren't we? Oh, awesome. The island grill has an order here stream. That makes the life a lot easier. <laughs> right, I've gone for a chicken sandwich and macaroni pie. Have you ever come here? have the macaroni pie, it's amazing. And it's time to board this Airbus. I've got seat 19A, which is located towards the front of the premium cabin. And it's time. So long Barbados. One of the additional perks of staying in the premium cabin is obviously the extra leg room and seat width. You'll also experience a larger in-flight screen than you would if you were in economy. In the premium cabin, you get a welcome on board drink of bubbly, orange juice, or water. Obviously, I went for the bubbly. The headrests are fully adjustable for your comfort. you'll be provided with a headset for the duration of your flight. In the premium cabin, there are two settings to adjust your seat. The first can help support your lower back and the second is to recline. Oh, and there's a good amount of recline in these seats. Most drinks are included in the fare you pay for your flight. I found there to be a standard and familiar range on board. Be aware some items come with a surcharge. You can find these items in the in-flight magazine located at your seat. Here we go.
on an overnight flight and staying in the premium cabin, you'll receive a choice of three main courses. These meals are included in the fare that you pay for your flight. Whilst I wasn't a fan of the artichoke and olive starter, the chicken teriyaki was delicious as was the dessert of cheesecake. overnight flight I've got to say I always really look forward to a nice breakfast. It's breakfast time. Fortunately they've run out of um, bacon rolls. Third of the world problem. So I've just got melon. It was disappointing that they run out of a number of items and the cabin was starting to get really unbearably warm. premium experience on Virgin Atlantic from Barbados to London Heathrow. But was it worth the extra ka -ching? Well, whilst the meal services weren't completely to my taste, and obviously we had that issue of running out of items and a very warm cabin at the end of the flight, the seat comfort was excellent. And the cabin itself certainly more intimate than in economy. Surprisingly, on this flight, the cost of premium was less than economy. So always double check, you might end up getting a great deal. Don't forget to follow Travel Blog Jamie on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube.